Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. So, my friend Roger, Roger Kjorvik, over in Norway, he's running a giveaway. If you don't know Roger's channel, and you follow my channel, you need to go and check him out. Um, he's doing a giveaway, he's reached 660 subs. He's actually over at 700 now. Um, but I think because he was getting to the 666 mark, he wanted to run a bit of a giveaway. Um, and he was asking kind of two questions. One of the questions was to show six evil um, album covers, supposed to do with the 666 being evil. And the other thing was to give six other YouTube channels a shout out. Um, so I'm going to get involved. Um, please do check out Roger's channel. He is one of my favourite to be honest, he's a channel that I, I try to never miss um, any of his videos. He goes a lot deeper into black metal than I ever will do. But I, I'm, I like that. Same with Simon at Explosive Action, you know, and, and Liam the Death Doom Metalhead. There's certain elements of black metal that I love. So watching their channels is a real education for me. And Roger knows his shit he has got an unbelievable collection um and like i say he's a firm favorite so uh, please do go and check him out link will be below okay so the first question about six evil album covers um i've kind of gone watched a lot of other videos on the youtube um on the youtube on youtube um so i you don't want to duplicate a lot of them, do you? So I've kind of tried to pick a bit of a theme. So all of these album covers involve a human being having some kind of evil done to them. The first band, and they are no longer around, but this is Howling from Kentucky. This is their uh, 2013 release. It's a Razorback Records. It's called A Beast Conceived. This is um, Vanessa, who's been in all sorts of different bands, and the drummer, um, who goes by the name of Electrocutioner, who now, he's sort of main man in Conjureth at the moment. He's been in uh, Encophanation and Father Be Fouled. But as you can see there with that cover, we've got a lady in um, clothes that have strangely sort of I don't know, bedraggled, I suppose she's got a bedraggled, bedraggled look, hasn't she? But some kind of demon there. It's a great cover though, and it? It's just got an evil vibe to it altogether. But yeah, some kind of wolf demon attacking it. Howling. Next we have got, and this is a band from uh, California. This is a 20, a 20, a 2006 release. And this is the band Merciless Death. And their album, Evil in the Night, bit of Ed Repka art. These are a thrash band, uh, old school thrash. But as you can see there, we've got, again, a lady there. Not quite as bedra bedraggled <laughs> as um, the first one, but she's got a nice chunk missing out of her arm there as the zombie horde attacker. Okay, we've got four vinyl to show. An absolute classic album, Dark Angel Leaves Scars. And as you can see there, I've got this scared little girl in bed there with, um, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, but I can only imagine the demons or the the, uh, the wardrobe monster or the boogie monster. Boogie? Bogey. Bogey. Bogey man. Boogie monster? <laughs> Is anyone scared of a boogie monster? The bogey man. What was I thinking? Anyway, um, but the good thing is, the salvation of this cover is she's got a duvet. And as we all know, if you've got a duvet, it doesn't matter if there's a mad axeman or a murder in the bedroom, if you pull a duvet over your head, you are safe. Dark angel leaf scars. Oh dear. Next up we have got, um, from Oakland, Autopsy, their debut album, Severed Survival. Um, 
89 this was and as you can see there um very much sort of hellraiser type but a guy there being uh, ripped apart by some gnarly looking blades that's got to work that hasn't it <laughs> next we have got um, a band from quebec in canada i've shown this recently this was um a gift of metal marty mac warsenal and feast your eyes and as you can see there the lady is getting her eyes carved out by what looks like maybe a broken piece of glass which um that's going to smart a bit isn't it and last but not least is that one two that's five and last but not least from uh, melbourne in australia the awesome abramelin and their album never enough snuff as you can see again some uh, mad bastard in some kind of mental cellar he's got a poor woman tied up with a bag over her head blood filled but whatever's going on there it's not going to end nicely is it a bramelin never enough snuff and for the second question this is to do with the shout outs so I follow so many channels and it, it's great giving shout outs. It's a brilliant thing that Roger's wanted to do is, is get people to give other channels a shout out. But you kind of feel like you want to give a lot more channels a shout out. But obviously he's asked for six shout outs. That's what I've gone for. What I've decided to do really with this is just pick all um, just UK based um, channels. Um, and people that I think you should go and check out. So, number one, Pie Face. Again, I'll leave links below to all these channels. Please check out Pie Face Simon. He's been a serial commenter on a lot of our YouTube channels, a lot of us in this community. And he's just recently sort of started getting making his own videos. The guy has obviously got a brilliant collection. Um, and that's what this... That's what YouTube's all about, isn't it? It's people with with collections. You don't have to have a collection, but people who've got collections, to share them and, and, and let's talk about them. And that's why I started doing it, you know. I've got a 35-year collection, a 35-year-old collection. And there's no point in just being sat here with me. I might, you know, you might as well get it out there and talk about it and show people and, and enthuse and let other people who are big collectors you know, infuse, that's what it's all about. Anyway, I digress. Simon Pie Face, that's his channel. Check him out. Uh, number two, we have got Dylan. Dylan's even newer than Simon to YouTube. His channel is Death Metal D 1976. Um, again, a guy of a similar age to me, a brilliant collection. When I've seen the videos he's been posting, you can tell he knows what he's talking about. He's a big fan of live music, um, and he's he's going to be an asset to this channel, uh, to this channel, to this community, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, he's some of the stuff he's shown, like I say already, is um, maybe sort of. Oh. Third, <clears throat> John, good old Johnny Mac, rock and metal plus. I want to give him a shout out because I have met John personally. I am going to meet John again very soon personally we've got to we've got tickets to go and see carcass later on this year we've got a few gigs coming up he doesn't live too far from me um and the guy's been through a fucking tough few months and i i, I love his channel i love his he's i've said it before and i love, love the way he just you know he, he's happy to take the piss out of himself he doesn't take himself too seriously he knows his music he's a similar age to me and he shows a bit of all sorts. He's definitely a bit more broader than I am. I mean, I listen to all sorts, but you know, my channel tends to be the filthy, dirty, honourable stuff. John will get a bit more involved in in rock and and you know, sleaze and glam metal. But he, he's, he's a great guy, an absolute great guy. Um, John, rock and metal plus. Next, we have got Dave. 
north of the border up in Scotland, Cavernous Carnage 213. I want to give Dave a shout out because he has got an awesome collection. He is very much like myself. He likes the, the, the horrible stuff. He likes it, you know, visceral and necro, as he likes to call it. Um, and he's he's he sort of makes videos. He does collection updates, but he also does little spotlights and shows, you know, specific bands and their the collections he's got. And there's always brilliant pieces in there. So if you're into your, your death metal, your black metal, your grindcore, go and check Dave's channel out. How many is that? That's four. Um, next, Beardy Red Viking. Again, like John, another chap that I have met personally and meeting him for the first time, it was like we'd known each other a lot longer than the five minutes, you know, that I'd met him when we, we sort of met up, if you will. That didn't make any sense, did it? But I think you know what I'm getting at. Um, a great addition to the community. He doesn't make a great deal of videos at the moment because he, he has a bit going on. Um, does Simon but it's um, you know it's he's, he's a part of this community he gets involved when he can get involved and that's all you can you know there's no pressure to make videos you should only ever do this when you enjoy doing it that's what it's all about but please go and check his channel out he listens to all sorts he goes from your sort of modern death metal and, and heavy metal but he goes back into the older stuff, great, great collection, great taste in music, and he's got a lovely girlfriend as well. And last but not least, Jason over in Ireland, Black Leather Eyes. I wanted to give him a shout out because this guy has got, like me, a, a collection that, that goes back decades, and I think he's been lucky enough to sort of hang on to a lot of it. But his knowledge is vast. He listens to everything from i mean sometimes his videos the music playing in the background it it sounds like the score from some mental sort of belarusian soap opera or something i don't even know what it is but then he's talking about demolition hammer and autopsy in the next breath you know so he knows his shit um and he's fairly new, really, to, to, the, to YouTube. So please go and check him out. Um, I think that's it, is it? Pie Face, Death Metal D1976, Rock and Metal Plus, Cavernous Carnage 213, Beardy Red Viking, and Black Leather Eyes. There's other channels that I would love um, to give a shout out to, but that'll happen in another video, maybe in the future. In the background, we are listening to Immolation and their album here in after this was a gift from dylan from death metal d 1976 recently and i thought it was perfect giving the shout out and the fact that this is roger's favorite band immolation uh, and i am slowly adding to my collection dylan did send me another immolation cd but i'm going to show that in a future update video nice little promo copy that isn't it lovely as always, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. Good luck to everybody who has entered Roger's competition. Nice one, Roger. You are a proper, proper top bloke, and I love your channel, mate. Um, I'll be back soon, everybody, with another video. Take care. Bye for now.